Hello, welcome back to Geo Insights. Um, today we are going to learn about how to use uh, Google Earth Pro to describe uh, the physiographic setting of a study area. This is very useful, especially when you are writing your undergraduate thesis or even master thesis. It is common uh, practice to describe the climate, the accessibility, uh, the geography of the area. So we're going to use Google Earth Pro to do that, which is um, an open source uh, tool. Uh, just a reminder that um, this uh, channel on YouTube is uh, made to simplify geoscience concept for everyone, explore arts wonder from plate tectonics to rock formations um, with easy to understand videos. Uh, this is a channel that is perfect for students educators and curious minds. Subscribe for clear, concise and engaging uh, geoscience explanations. I implore you to subscribe to the channel so you get updated every time, notified every time I upload a new video. Now you can download um, Google Heart Pro by just um, typing Google then Heart Pro and then can find it here and you can you agree then you download Google Hat depending on uh, the kind of um, operating system that you have I have it already downloaded so I'm just going to go there it can be very difficult to navigate but um, uh, you just need to use your left hand uh, button and then you zoom in and zoom out as you wish if you need to drag you just drag normally and then if you need to control your video in 3d window uh, to show 3d view you have to press down the control or the shift button depending on what you're trying to do to expand you use the shift and then um, your ball and then to you to view in 3d you use uh, the control I will come back to that later on. Okay, so the study area is uh, somewhere in Nigeria. We are continuing our study in, on the younger granite of Nigeria. And uh, you see that uh, you have an expression of the granite already as shown. And remember, this study area is between 11 to the north uh, to 9 to the to the south. And then 7 to the west and, and 9 to the, to the east. I already have a lot of... Um, KMZ file for different geology being downloaded here. This one is from Geological Survey of Nigeria, which shows the geology of the area. And, um, if I, yeah, and you see that um, we are actually looking at the younger granite, like I mentioned earlier on. And I have this geological map from uh, from the one geology which is um, showing faults in Africa, showing the entire geology of Africa, and so on and so forth. You can download that straight away. It's always very easy once you go to the website and you click the KMZ file. Just make sure you have your your Google Hard Pro open, and then it's downloaded straight into your Google Hard. And I uh, have for, um, I think I have for Cameroon. Yeah, geology map of Cameroon. I have Africa geology units in Africa. Yeah, so if I turn off that of Nigeria, and you see that uh, you are actually around the granitoid area also. So the one geology is um, a French consortium, I think, and they are trying to put together the geology of the entire globe in one place. So you can have geological map from different areas of the world. Okay, so now to the study area. So we're going to look at the granitoid. So we zoom to the area, and then you see this area is um, quite hilly. You have some hills around this area, which is a surface expression of um, the granitoid. One thing you can do here, you can turn up the places to give to show the names of places around. So if I zoom back, then you see that some names are cropping up, like. Um, this one if you put on roads you see the road network 
the bigger road networks uh, in Nigeria, connecting places like Kano and Kaduna. And then, like I said, name of places, there is a game reserve here. Uh, you can also do more. You can try to see uh, pictures of places that are already uploaded. So, if you do that, let me just zoom see that there is a picture of a place here if you click on it it shows you the kaguru castle and that is quite close to the study area okay anyway we zoom to the study area and then we try to see it in 3d by you press down your your shift button and you see three dimensions you use the button here to move to left or right and to press inward you use this one so now we can we can view it in 3d you can see all the road networks you can see some forests around the area move up here thing you can do is uh, you can increase the vertical exaggeration of the map by going to tools uh, options and then it's already at three three is the maximum you can have here uh, one thing you can do here also is you can change the color you can change the log longitude latitude to minutes but I'll put it at decimal for now and say apply okay okay so let's see this guy so this is our study area and obviously you see some settlements here some villages around the area so it's not actually isolated uh, you see some trees all around yeah so in terms of um, it's, it's quite uh, sparsely populated you you have some settlement within the area and then you have a green field there. This is more or less like a grass, a uh, rice field. And you see some trees, and maybe this is um, a lake or something, or some water bodies being used for irrigation purpose. But by and large, you see some settlements. So you see all these blue houses here. And then government secondary school is here. This is the typical way they are always uh, these L-shaped uh, structures when you talk about schools in Nigeria. So, and then so we know that that area is um, quite uh, sparsely populated, right? And then you have hills around it. Okay. Again, if you need to play with uh, the There are no street views here, so we can't do any street views here. So, so one thing we can do here that will quite make sense here is to is to to see how the topography changes, right? to see how the topography changes so like I told you 3D and then we zoom to ourselves uh, yeah so now we see it in three dimensions maybe a little too much and, um, so you can see the hills right so we have an idea that there are so many eels in the area so what we can do here now is uh you can pin down an area like i already did here like only granitory so that is very simple you just click add place mark here so the uh, place is actually called rio right so i will say Re Re right and you can add so many other things to it say like color stuff like that and so on and so forth but now just 
place put the place mark and then i want to see how the topography changes here so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to uh hard a path and say okay i'm going to move from this end to this end and across the village i'll make it quite um, dense in the village and say if i go down and come down to this area it's more or less like a track for you which you can share with your mates if you're doing um, geological field mapping i call that part a b part a b and i say okay that has been added somewhere here so you can see it here as part a b so let's see what that looks like so you right click on this and you say show elevation profile and that shows you how the elevation varies from that end into the village and then if you move away from the village and you see it's getting to height of about um, a thousand meters somewhere here when you see where the red um, arrow is pointing to that's where the location of um, this profile there's just a drastic change in uh, gradient from west to east of the study area okay if you need a picture of this the way it is it's very simple just come here and say file uh, and say uh, copy image so but if you do copy I'm going to open PowerPoint I usually you put my stuff in PowerPoint and say paste you see that you just have um, an overview map of that area without um, just with a small scale there and without the overview map uh, which is like inset map of it so what you can do is uh, you just go back and say copy copy view location right and you can add so many other things to the map so if I paste that differently uh, you see this is what you've got sorry should be uh, okay snapshot view I think I'm making the same mistake okay I'll copy file okay well, I actually forgot how to do that but I think um, if you need to copy it with the location and with the profile I think it's possible but there should be a way to do that yeah. so if you just copy control shift and say No, it's just giving me the coordinate. Okay, never mind. You can find a way to do that, or you can use a, a snipping tool. So, in the worst case scenario, so I use a snipping tool, and then I snip it out. just need to figure out how to do that because I know it's possible so copy and uh, paste yeah so uh, that is um that is um, one thing you can do there are so many other things you can do you can play back uh, the just look at the changes in climate so if you if you put on um, this one which says um show sunlight across the landscape which means you can time lapse it and look at different times how the climate has changed over time so you 
you can also drop uh, i think you can also drop polygons so around an area for example if you need to drop polygons around the hill just to calculate uh, the area of the hill you can do that drop polygons and this will give you a rough estimate of the hill or the outcrop itself and saying the measurements you can decide you want it in feet or you want it in kilometers or you want it in and this shows you uh, square kilometers is around 143 uh, square kilometers so that's one way to estimate um, uh, the area of a body um, in Google. you can email this this uh, screenshot to your colleagues you can save it as kml file and then um, you can do a lot of so many other things and you can view it online in google earth web which is um i prefer the 3d view oh, there so uh, that is it. A brief um, video into how you can describe uh, the physical graphics setting of an area. Remember to subscribe to the channel. It is Joe Insight, and I uh, hope to upload more videos um, that I think will be useful for you. Thank you very much. Bye.